Well, welcome to the Travel 42 basic webinar. My name's Larissa and I will be your host today. Um, I've been with Travel 42 for going on seven years now, um, but Travel 42 was created back in 2011. It's a mix of star service hotel reviews plus the Weissman destination guides. You might remember those from the big red binder um, that you would have to replace the information. Now you will be able to see all of that information, the star reviews, the destination guides, the cruise information in one location. That is the Travel 42 website. Um, so just some information about what we do have. We have over 6,000 destinations, over 235,000 hotel listings, over 10,000 detailed hotel reviews, 400 ship reviews, and 40,000 points of interest. All of that information can be shared with your traveler before they're traveling to help kind of research where they want to go. Um, and then also during their travel so they know where they're going to go or some things around where they're going to be. Um, you can also brand this content with your headshot, your logo, and your contact information so it looks like it came from you. Travel 42 is in existence to help the travel agent, of course, learn about new destinations, hotels, and cruises, but to also make you look like the expert to your travelers. So they see this information that you either email, print, or share the URL, and they think, oh my gosh, look at all this information that they compiled for me. The information you'll find in Travel 42 is not available anywhere but with a Travel 42 subscription, so you will not be able to see it just on any website. You have to physically log into Travel 42. Now, there are two ways to do that. If you do not have a current Travel 42 subscription, you can click register now. That will allow you to create a 14 day trial. So if you click register now, it'll pop up a new URL and you'll be able to sign up for a 14 day free trial. You do have to put a free trial code here at the bottom. But if you do not have a free trial code, you can simply use our 14-day free trial, which is T42-14FT. So if you have anybody or any travel agent friends or coworkers that you would like to share this information with, you can specifically share with them this page so they can try it out for 14 days. But since I have a user ID and password, I'm going to go ahead and get signed in right here with my user ID and password. Now, if you ever forget your user ID or password, you can simply click forgot password. It will email you a link to um, update that password or user ID, whichever one you need. So I'm going to go ahead and click sign in here. Oh, and during this webinar, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to type them in the question answer box. Um, I will try to wait till the end to answer questions, but if something comes through and I think it pertains to what we're talking about, I will answer it during. Um, but at the very end, I'll have a question and answer period as well. So when you log into Travel 42, your profile or your subscription to Travel 42, this is what you're going to see. This is your dashboard, which includes your trip plans and your travelers. You also have some things up here at the top that you can do. The dashboard is where we are. News and alerts. Um, this tab basically shows you some of our updated destinations, updated hotels, any travel alerts that are powered by IntelliGuide, which are very helpful if you have clients that are traveling. That way you can let them know if there's any issues going on. Um, we also have some of our sister products, blogs, featured under the News and Alerts tab. You have Travel Age West, Travel Weekly, and Travel Pulse. So definitely check those out. Now, Sherpa. I know a lot of travel agents have heard of Sherpa, but within Travel 42, you now have access to both the restrictions and the e-visa information powered by Sherpa. So restrictions is basically going to show you what your traveler will need to travel from one destination to the next destination and then back home. So that comes in handy, of course, if anybody's going to be traveling. And then e-visa information allows you to purchase e-visas for any of your clients' travels. So both of those things can now be done within Travel 42. The help tab, if you ever get stuck, 
go to the help tab. You'll find some on-demand training, which are the recorded webinars that we do. You'll find some quick start guides, some frequently asked questions, and then any upcoming webinars that we have scheduled. You'll find all of that on the help tab, and you can also submit a request on the help tab. So if there's something you wanna see on the site, or if there's a bug on the site, or whatever it may be, you can click on the help tab from there. I'll go over the profile, manage account, and sign out towards the end, um, but I did just want to touch on those briefly. Now, this is the new Travel42 site, so eventually this website is going to replace our legacy site. Some of you may currently be using the legacy site, which is totally fine, but I do recommend you get into the new site to kind of play around with it for when we do get rid of that legacy site. If you ever want to go back to the legacy site, you can click down here at the very bottom, the footer of the page to take you back to the legacy site. Um, let's go back to the dashboard, which of course I just clicked the word dashboard. You'll notice a banner up here at the top, Mobio, which is one of our newest sister products. You'll be able to access the internet, get internet data, make worldwide calls, and then also see some points of interest in nearby locations. Um, and then, of course, Sherpa. Um, we do feature some destination spotlights and hotel spotlights and then Access Travel App, which is another one of our sister products. This one is an itinerary builder um, that also brings in the destination guides from Travel 42. So when you're on the dashboard, you'll notice any trip plans that you've created in the past will show up here. They will stay saved forever unless you physically go in there and delete those trip plans. Same with travelers. Now, to be able to send information out of Travel 42 to someone else, they need to be saved as a traveler. So if you log in and you say, I need to send some information to a traveler that I have traveling, you need to go in and click Create New Traveler, put in their first name, last name, and email address, and save the client. You only have to do it once. But if you're going to be sending somebody information, whether that be a traveler or even yourself, you need to create a client. I have uh, myself saved as a client. So if I'm going through information and I'm like, oh, I really want to send this to travel for or I really want to send this to my client. I put myself as a contact in there so I can send myself information whenever I want. Um, so you only have to do that once, as I said, but always create a traveler if you're going to send information. Now, if you're just planning to print or share the URL for that trip plan, you don't have to create a traveler for them. You can just print the information or send it through your email, uh, whichever you would prefer. But if you're going to be sending directly out of Travel 42, just scroll on down here to the bottom and click Create New Traveler. If you're unsure if you have a traveler saved, you can go through all of your clients or all of your travelers that you have saved down here. You can search for the traveler. You can look at all of the travelers. But anywhere that I have a traveler saved, you'll notice that letter is bold. Um, and then, of course, your trip plans. So say you were logged in last week and you came back in and you want to now send information that you had already, already created to your client. You'll see all your trip plans here with the little circle to the left. What that little circle does is gives you action items. You'll see this little circle with the three dots inside in two places in Travel 42. You'll see it on the dashboard and then in your trip plan workspace, which we'll go through here in just a moment. But if you click on that, you see your action items. You can open the trip plan. You can edit details, view travelers, send that trip plan, print or download that trip plan, copy the URL, duplicate the trip plan, or delete. Those are your action items that you can do with any trip plan that you've already created. But say you get logged in and you just kind of want to do some research. You're not really sure what you're creating. You're not really sure exactly where your clients want to go, but you just want to kind of look at information you start at this search bar. Search for destination guides, hotels, see and do, cruises, and more. If you wanna find a destination, type in the destination name. If you wanna find a specific hotel, type in that specific hotel name. If you're not really sure what you wanna do, but you know kind of the destination where you wanna go, start there and you can dig deeper to find that hotel. So let's say we have somebody that wants to look into going to Rome. 
you would type in the word Rome because that's where we're starting. I don't know the hotel. I don't know anything other than Rome. So you have some destination guys that pop up in a drop down: Rome, Italy and Rome, Georgia. You also have some hotels. You have some see and do, and then you can press enter to see all results. So a couple different ways to pull things up. If I know my clients wanna go to Rome, Italy, I could start here by clicking Rome, Italy destination guide. Here's the destination guide, Rome, Italy. I have my overview, see and do, dining, safety, tips, and events. That is what is included in this destination guide. Hotels, cruises, and related are other items. Those are not included in the destination guide. So if I get here and I think, oh, I really want to send Rome, Italy to someone, you click the send button up here at the top. This is where creating the traveler now comes in handy. So I've already added myself as a traveler. So if I search for my name, there I am. But say I forgot and I didn't go in and add the client as a traveler, I can simply click the button create new traveler. It'll populate exactly the same thing we saw earlier and I can fill in the first name, last name and email address. Always be sure to click save new client. And once you do that, your traveler has been created and you do not have to do that again. You only have to do it once, remember. Okay, but where I, where I just was, we click the send button because I wanna send the whole destination guide to my client. So I'm gonna click send, type in their name, you can edit the subject if you want, change the subject. I put enjoy your trip, but if you wanted to put, here is some Rome, oh, Rome, Italy information. Enjoy. Um, you can put in a letter body that'll show up in the body of the email that you receive and then click send. So that's how to go in and quickly send a full destination guide. Email sent to lworley at ntmllc.com. That's me. I did just send it. So that was everything. That was the overview with all of this information included. See and do, dining, safety, tips, and events. That's how to quickly send the destination guide. If I wanted to print the destination guide in its entirety, I do the exact same thing. I just click the print button. Now the print button will pull up a PDF for me. Just give it a moment to load. And this you can either, well, you can print it, but you can also save it to your computer. So if it's something you want to kind of keep handy just for something that might come up in the future, if you save it to your computer, you'll have access to it. But here is that full destination guide, 85 pages. So also keep that in mind if you're going to print. Um, but you can scroll through all of the information that Travel42 provides. That is a way to quickly print or send a full destination guide in its entirety. Same with hotels. So let's go back to the dashboard. I'm done with Rome. I did what I needed to do. Now let's look at a hotel and see if hotels are similar. So my clients are interested in Couples San Suchi in Jamaica. I don't think I spelled that. Oh, I did. Missed the letter, but okay. So same thing populates. I typed in the name of the hotel because I know exactly the hotel that they want to go to. So I'm going to click it in the drop down. Looks pretty much the same as the destination guides. I have my overview, my star review, property and map. So it looks similar, but it just has different information. So what I can do from here, same with the destination guide. I can click send. My send modal pops up. I can click send email once I have my client in here and send that hotel in its entirety to the client. Same with print. I'm not going to click print this time, but this at least gives you the idea that you have send or print within hotels as well. If I wasn't sure where the hotel was, but I know it's in Jamaica, I can then search for Jamaica. Mm, and I don't want to do this route. I kind of want to see all search results. So I'm going to click the magnifying glass or enter on your keyboard, and it is going to pull up all the search results. So I have 24 destinations. I have 240 see and do, 255 hotels, no cruise ships, but 11 cruises. So what I can do here 
you have the same capability that we did when we were in the destination guide. If I hover over that destination or hotel, I see those send and print buttons again. View details simply just allows you to pull up the destination guide and view more details. So let me click it real quick. There we go. The destination guide again. Do you, when we were looking at Rome, this is very similar to what it looked like. So right now I'm in the destination guide for Jamaica. I could send and print just like I did earlier. Now up here in the upper left-hand corner, you have what we call breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs help get you back to where you were. So if I, I'm like, okay, I see this destination guide. I've done what I need to do. I wanna go back to those search results. So click search Jamaica, and it takes me exactly back to where I was. Now I know this is a lot of information, but I can assure you the more you play around with this information, the easier it's gonna be. These are just different ways to get to the same point. There, there's different ways to do things in Travel 42 and what you need to do is figure out the way that works best for you and your clients. This is supposed to be easy and seamless and it will be. You just have to play around with it and figure out, okay, do I like all these search results or do I want to go back into the drop down and choose from there? Here you just have a couple ways to filter things. So let's go to the hotels tab. You have ways to filter the hotels. You can filter by star rating. You can show only hotels that have a review. You can filter by amenity rating. By, you can search by filter, or excuse me, you can filter it by the name of the hotel, by the chain hotel rep, hotel size, and then you also have hotel preferences. But if you hover over the hotel and search results, you'll see the same information. Add item, view details, send, print, and then you also have compare. So compare allows you to compare three properties with each other. So if I click compare here, compare here, and compare here, I can then compare three properties and see kind of the features of those hotels that will allow me to pick and choose one over the other. So let's go back. Oh, sorry. Let's go back to Jamaica. I'm just going back to the search results right now. So I'm typing in Jamaica in the search bar and I clicked enter on my keyboard. Now I'm back to search results right back where I was. Add item means that you're adding it to a trip plan. So right now we haven't gotten that deep yet. We haven't worked on a custom trip plan. We're simply just showing what some of the buttons mean and how to quickly search and send information in Travel 42. So view details, send, print, or compare. Looks pretty much the same as what the destination guide has. So if I wanted to send this hotel in its entirety, you click send. If I wanted to print the hotel in its entirety, I would print. If I wanted to view the details, I would click view details so I can see exactly what's in the hotel. Um, now just a little breakdown of what the hotel looks like. You'll see the overview tab, which includes the basic information. COVID-19 policies, photo gallery, and booking info. Booking info is never included in anything, so no matter what, whether you print, send, or add to a trip plan, the booking info never shows up. It's only for you. Now, to get to the star review, which is the next tab, I could click down here at the bottom that says star review or scroll back up and click to the right of the tab. So this little checkbox you'll see here in a minute works with trip plans. Right now, we're not in a trip plan. We're simply just researching information. So I'm gonna click the star review tab, which then brings up the star review. These are unbiased reviews that we send our writers to these locations and they write exactly what they see at that property. So you have your location and history, your property overview, accommodations, notable features, non-standard amenities, advisor notes, and then comparable properties. Now to get to the next tab or to go back to the tab down here at the bottom, again, we can go back to the overview tab or go to the next tab, which is property. It pulls up the property, which includes room amenities, hotel facilities, restaurants, recreation, rates and policies, and then location. 
And again, down here at the bottom, you can get back to the star review or go to the map. But always remember, if you're just researching, if you didn't create a trip plan, go ahead and click to the right of that tab. Now, if you accidentally click one of these check boxes, it's not a big deal. I clicked it and now it says add items to a trip plan. So if I meant to do that, if I wanted to add these items to a trip plan, I would either choose a trip plan that I already have to add them to, or I would create a new trip plan. Um, so, But if, if you didn't want to do that, all you have to do is just click the X. Now, nothing's been done. I haven't added anything to a trip plan. I'm simply still just reviewing the information. Um, this X up here in the upper right corner also will get you back to the home page. So if you click on the X, it takes you right back. Um, so now we're back on our dashboard. So what we've done so far, we have researched destinations and hotels. We've learned how to quickly send and print a full destination guide or a full hotel. And also with the quick send and quick prints, you can only do one destination or one hotel at a time. You can't do like multiple in one send. It's just you send one hotel and then you can go and send another one if you want, but it's separate emails. If you create a trip plan, you can then add multiple destinations or multiple hotels. And it's really not that hard to create a trip plan. It does not take that long. And you can actually, if you have some downtime and know there's a specific destination or hotel combo that you normally sell often, you can go in and create a new trip for that generic destination and hotel and just reuse that trip plan. Make it easy. Um, so let's go ahead and create a new trip. This brings up a new trip plan modal. So now I have to start inputting information um, that is required. Now, the only thing that is required to create a trip plan is the trip plan name. You don't need anything else. So if you're trying to get done really quick, and you just need this to get out to your clients, go ahead and just do the trip plan name and then add the information you want and then send it. It's super quick. But I'm going to go through everything that you can add because I want you to see everything that you can do within Travel 42. So let's say trip plan name. <laughs> let's do Texas. Texas trip. And then especially prepared for. What that means is if you want it to reflect say a specific person's name or a specific group name. This, this is not adding a traveler per se. This is adding um, just how you want the name to show up. So say it's a group of people going to Texas for a bachelorette party, especially prepared for Jessica's bachelorette party or Jessica's girlfriends or however you want to word the especially prepared for. Totally optional, you do not have to put it, but um, it's, a, it's a nice thing to add. The travelers, again with the travelers, you can add a new traveler here if you forgot to do it on the other page. So if on the dashboard you didn't add the traveler, you can do that here. But again, as I said, you only have to have the trip plan name. You don't have to have a traveler here. And you can always edit it in the future. So if I wanted to add a traveler, I already added myself, so I'm already popping up. There I am, I can add myself as a traveler. And you can add multiple travelers here too. So if it's a big group that's going, you can add multiple. Um, suggested retail price, that's optional as well. What that means is what all of this information would cost to your clients if they had to go and do this research on their own. So they're paying you to know what's the best of the best. What is that worth? What would you put as a price tag for all of this information that you are creating for them. Um, some agents also use it as maybe the cost of the whole trip. But again, that is totally up to you how you look at it. In our eyes, this one is meant to be how much this information would cost um, for cost you for your client. So if you want to put the suggested retail price, I think we generically have it at $29.95 when you first get logged in. Um, but you can go through, if it shows up for you, you can simply delete it. I'll show you under the profile and preferences where you can delete it if you want to permanently take that away. You can also put the departure and the return or the number of days that they'll be gone. Comments, which are displayed to your clients on the cover page of this trip plan that you send. So if you put comments here, your clients are going to see it. 
If you put trip notes here, your clients are not going to see it. That is for your information only. Next step is the layout. These are some optional things you can have or remove from your trip plan as you want. So the cover page has a cover photo and your business card. Your business card is your information. So if you don't want a business card, if you don't want your information there, you can remove it. You can then take away the cover page if you wanted to. Um, I do like to keep it. I think it looks very nice, the cover page, um, especially if you have all of your information, you have the logo, you have the headshot. It makes it look super professional. Trip summary, exactly that. It's a summary of what everything in that trip is. So it's kind of like a table of contents. Show images and online view within Travel 42, within destinations and hotels and cruises. Um, we do have images. So if you want images to show up, in the email form, keep the check in the checkbox. If you do not, you can simply remove it. Same with the PDF view. Um, preference for me, I have a black and white printer. So if I know I'm going to be printing this trip plan, not just saving it to my computer, but printing it, I will remove the images because they don't look so nice when they're in black and white. Um, but if I do save it to my computer, then I do keep it there because you'll still be able to see the images if I attach that PDF to an email. Um, add a cover photo. So Travel 42, like I said, does have photos. And if you do not put a cover photo, we will pick one based on the information that you add, but you can add one yourself. So if you don't want to, if you don't want to, um, to just let us make a choice for you, you can go in and upload an image or link an image yourself. So let's go here to create new trip. Now that we have added or have everything for our trip plan, I'm going to go ahead and click create new trip. And now it's loading my workspace. Awesome. I have created the trip plan. Now what that means is you've basically created the folder. Now you need to add the information into that folder. So you need to add the destination guides, the hotels, the cruises, the see and do. Um, you can add as much as you want in this trip plan. You can add, I know this is excessive, but like 15 destination guides. Just don't print it because it's going to be a lot to print. Um, you can add as much as you want or as little as you want. If you just want one hotel in this trip plan and you're just going to reuse it over and over and over, go ahead. Add one hotel, reuse that trip plan over and over with that one hotel in it or one destination guide. But this is the way, if you don't just want to quickly send one hotel or print one hotel, add them into a trip plan so you can have four or five, six, seven hotels in there and then your clients can pick and choose which one they want. So we're going to Texas. So let's search for Texas. I think I've been to Texas once. It's a very, very big state. So I'm going to go ahead and click Texas first in the drop down. Why not? Let's start there. So this is going to be Texas as a state. So there might not be as many points of interest or dining or like specific restaurants. Um, uh, but when we narrow down to our city, that's when you'll start seeing more points of interest populate. So I now have my Texas trip. If I ever needed to get back to it, I know it's double because it'll always say the word trip, but I put trip in there. So Texas trip trip. Um, and I'm right now in Texas under the overview tab. That's where I am currently. So in the overview tab, you have at a glance. I'm going to go ahead and put a check in the box. And that means that it has been added. You'll notice it does the same over here. So no matter where I click, as long as I put a check in the box, it's going to reflect and it's going to save in your trip plan. The introduction, so you could go over here to the left and simply just click whatever items you want, or you can read through and pick and choose over here. So I think I'm going to leave, let's take out geography, but we'll leave history snapshot. Potpourri is a good one. I highly recommend that one. And then hotel overview. So we'll go to the next tab, which is see and do. Like I said, this one's going to have more of an overview because it's not a specific city. It's Texas as a whole. So we don't want to put all of the points of interest under Texas. Um, so let's go and we'll put recreation overview, the shopping overview, and then the itinerary. We do have a day by day itinerary. Um, so these will be in a lot of the destination guides we have. If you're trying to think of somewhere that your client 
or some something that your client can do while they're at this destination, um, the itinerary is a good spot to look. So I'm going to definitely add that. Then we have local tours, which are very good to have as well. And then dining, like I said, we just have the dining overview. But once I get to the city, then we'll find some more pop up there. Next, we'll go to the safety tab, which I always add that information. Now, this information can be sent to your client while they're researching for their trip um, and also when they're about to go on their travels. So a lot of travel agents will, um, let's say, send the initial client information so they can kind of pick and choose on their own. And then at the end, when everything's planned, they'll print it out for them and kind of give them the paper copy because, of course, the paper copy can't change. But if you send them the trip plan, then any of the information that maybe say updates within Travel 42 will also update on their trip plan. So you don't have to resend it. Do's and don'ts is very helpful in the tips tab. Geostats, which talks a lot about the passport and visa requirements, population, languages, religions, time zone, and voltage requirements. We'll do money, but we don't need currency exchange. We'll do taxes, tipping. And then weather, what to wear, definitely. Internet access, we don't need we don't need mail, package, newspapers, magazines, telephone, yes, just in case, and then transportation. And then we also include the tourist offices as well. So remember, anything you put a check box or a check in the box, that means that it has been added to your trip plan. So if you don't want something added, simply uncheck it and now it's gone. It doesn't, it's not in your trip plan anymore. Next, we have the events tab. So we'll add that one in as well. And as I said, that is the conclusion of the destination guide. The next tab is gonna be hotels, but I really don't wanna look at the hotels until I figure out what city they're gonna to go to. So I'm gonna click on the related tab to find related or nearby destinations to Texas. So this will show me places within Texas, places that might be nearby Texas. So let's see here. Let's do Fort Worth, Texas. Um, so if you quickly, like I said, add item is another choice when we hover over it. If I click add item, that will add this destination guide in its entirety to the trip plan. I want to kind of pick and choose for this one at least. So I'm going to click view details. Now, since we are in a trip plan, a custom trip plan, and you're adding multiple destination guides and hotels, don't use these buttons. This will specifically send or print only Fort Worth, Texas. This is not going to take into account your trip plan that you customize for your client. I will show you in just a moment how to send and print the destination guide, the, or excuse me, the trip plan that we're working on. So for now, I'm going to click view details. So this is the Fort Worth destination guide. It looks very similar to all the others we've looked at with the overview, see and do, dining, safety tips, and events. So we have our overview. I definitely want the photo gallery introduction, highlights, geography, history. I'm going to do a little bit more on this one because they're actually going to be staying in Fort Worth. I want them to know everything about it. So now we have more items that are populating. So sightseeing. I'm going to add that overview, but we now have amusement parks. We now have historic sites, museums lots of museums, neighborhoods and districts, other options, parks and gardens, zoos and wildlife, recreation, golf, swimming, nightlife, comedy clubs, dance and nightclubs, live music, other options, performing arts, spectator sports, other options, shopping, antique stores, bookstores. There is lots of information in this destination guide. You'll see now that I narrowed it down to a city, or excuse me, a city guide as opposed to the state is of Texas, I have a lot more options to choose from. So this is where the points of interest come in. So we'll go ahead and click through some of them. Let's do historic sites, Sundance Square, that sounds really nice. And with a lot of our points of interest, you'll notice we have some um, information about them as well, their address, their phone number, and their website as well. So you can check out more. Um, by looking at that information. We'll add in some museums. Then we have neighborhoods and districts. Cowtown, cattle pen maze. 
And this one even has the cost for it. Now I would definitely um, check with them. This is probably just a generic price. They may have high season or low season. So always check with the point of interest. We'll do the zoo for sure. No golf, but definitely nightlife. So what I did, I added all nightlife items and that adds everything. So comedy clubs, dance and nightclubs, live music, other options. Performing arts is then its next tab. So if I wanted to add everything with performing arts, I would click to the checkbox to the right of add all performing arts items. Um, but for me, I just want to add in just some of them, not all of them. So music, I'm going to add in that. We don't need any spectator sports. Shopping for sure. I added all antique store items, bookstores, factory outlets, shopping areas, specialty stores. Oh, and then here's our itinerary again. So we saw this earlier on the um, Texas destination guide. So I'm definitely going to add in the day trips. I'm going to add in the local tours. And then we're done. That's our see and do tab. So next we need to go to the dining tab. Now, if you're doing this and you're like, oh gosh, I really wanna go back to the overview and delete something, just simply go back to the overview. But we're gonna move on and go to the dining tab, which you'll now see more dining, more restaurants populate. So we have our dining overview, which looks familiar because the Texas destination guide had that. Then you also have local and regional. I always add the local and regional for any destination that I'm adding. Now you'll also see some of these items that are some of these points of interest that have a gold ticket. Those are ones that we highly rate. So you can go through and add those as well. Then we have our different cuisines. We have American, Asian, French, German, Italian, Mexican, Middle Eastern, vegetarian, breakfast and brunch. Definitely need some breakfast and brunch in there. Um, coffee houses, seafood, steak houses, and then other options. Next is our safety tab personal safety, health, and disabled advisory. And you'll see when I go through, I sometimes will move from the, clicking the checkboxes to the left or checkboxes to the right. It doesn't matter as long as you check a checkbox. That means it will be added. Tips, I always add the do's and don'ts. Don't expect everyone to say howdy, but do expect friendly strangers and a certain Southern charm. <laughs> so these are just I like these, especially if you've never been somewhere because it's kind of in your face as to what you can expect. So do take some dressy, trendy clothes. Locals like to dress up at night. Keep in mind that not everyone wears Western du duds, duds or dudes. Not sure about that one, my apologies. And cowboy hats. So you might go in expecting one thing and then when you get there, you're like, oh gosh. Um, this isn't what I thought. So this is very helpful. I love the do's and don'ts tabs. Geostats, again, we're going to add that one in. Money, we don't need currency exchange still, but taxes, tipping, and weather are very helpful. What to wear, internet access. Mm -hmm. Let's do transportation. I'm going to add all transportation items. And then for more information, and last but not least, we have our events tab. So I'm gonna add in all those. Now you can go in and add only the month that they're gonna be there, or if you're trying to help plan the trip, you can add all of the months that we have. That way they can kind of see, oh, this is a very busy month. I'd rather not go when it's super busy, or if they really wanna go when it's super busy, then pick a busy month. Um, hotels, this is where I'm gonna to go to the hotels tab. So I'm clicking on the hotels tab. This is in the destination guide, but we don't technically consider it part of the destination guide. So this one is separate. You do have to add the hotels as you want them. Now though, we can filter items. So if you click filter, you'll see exactly those same results or those filter results we had in the search results, but now under the hotels in the destination itself. So you can filter by star rating. You can show only hotels with a review search by hotel name, chain or hotel rep, same items that we had earlier, you can filter between those. In, in my preferences, I have it saved to where I see the higher stars first, and then it goes down to the lower stars. So that is an option under preferences um, if you prefer to see the higher stars first. So let's go ahead and look at one. Let's look at the Omni Fort Worth Hotel. Now, same items, you have add item, view details, send, print, or compare. If you use this send and print button, remember it's only gonna send 
that one hotel. It's not going to send your debt or your trip plan that you created. So I'm going to click view details. I have my overview, which I'm going to add also with the COVID-19 policies. Then I'm going to add the photos. Now you can choose certain photos. So if you go through this little slideshow and there's certain ones that you like, you can choose to add only those hotels. You don't have to add all of the photos. Um, again, with the booking info, not included in your traveler's report, so you don't have to worry about that. Then we have a star review. Definitely gonna add in that information. You have your property, which you can uncheck items in the property. Like if they're not gonna be going to any meetings, you can uncheck that one. Recreation rates and policies and then location and then map. So perfect. I think I've added everything to the trip plan I need. Now, two ways to get back to your trip plan, and I mentioned this before, breadcrumbs up here at the top. You can go back to your Texas trip plan or the X in the upper right corner, or you can simply just use the back button in your browser, but um, we've created these things for you. So if you click on the X or the Texas trip, it's been saved. You don't have to worry about clicking save. Anything with a check, has been saved. So I'm gonna click my Texas trip. Now it's pulling up my trip. Now you'll notice it looks a little different. My folder has some information in it now. I have two destination guides, one hotel and 46 see and do items. So one thing I wanna mention before I get out of the collect tab, collect is where I am right now in my trip plan because I'm collecting information in my trip. I'm editing. I can delete items if I need to by clicking the trash can, um, or I can add items by searching in the search bar and then checking the checkbox beside the items I want to add. Custom place is different. So if there's something that you want to add that's not in Travel 42, this is where you would do that. You can add air, like the, the airfare that they're going to be doing. You can add Airbnbs. You can add Rentals, you can add anything with the custom place. So if you click the plus sign to the right of custom place, you can enter that place's website, their name, the place type. We have a lot of options, the address, the phone number, and then any information you want your clients to know about that place. You can copy and paste from that website and paste right onto here. Um, and it'll actually take that format formatting into account. You can add multiple custom places. So not just one, you could add two, three, four, five, however many custom places you need. But custom places are things that are not found within Travel 42. Heck, even if there's a restaurant, say there's a, excuse me, a restaurant that you want your clients to go to, you can put that in custom place if it's not already in Travel 42. Um, organize. Our next tab is the Organize tab two options within the Organize tab. You can change the order or you can schedule. Change order, simply, that's what it means. You can change the order. So if I want the hotel to show up first, I just drag and drop it up top. If I want where they're going, then Texas, then the hotel, I just drag and drop it where I want it to show up for, your, for the client. Schedule. This allows me to drag and drop the items that I have in my trip plan onto a calendar. So once they have decided, okay, this is where I'm staying, this is where I'm gonna go, heck, even this is the restaurant I'm gonna eat at on a certain night, you can schedule that on the calendar. Now, both the Organize tab and the Preview tab are optional. As long as you have information saved to your trip plan, aka folder, you can send or print that information or copy the URL. You don't have to organize or preview anything. Um, we could be done right now if we wanted to. So if I wanted to drag and drop the items, you'll see it starts with April, which is the month we're in. If I need to go, let's say to a new month, let's say they're traveling in December. I'm at December, 2023 now. I would then drag and drop where I need the items to go. You'll see it also populates a trip itinerary over here to the left. So Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, December 12th through 14th, they will be at Fort Worth, Texas. We can put them in the Omni Hotel. And you can even narrow it down to where they're gonna be going out to eat. 
So right now I'm in the month view. I can go to week view or I can go to day view. So let's scroll over to the day, which is the 12th is the first day that they're gonna be there. Um, once you do anything on the itinerary, you can no longer change the order. The only way you can change the order is within the calendar. So if they were going to a specific restaurant, let's see if we can find some restaurants. There we go, Fort Worth, Texas, we had dining. So let me find the restaurant that they're gonna be going to. I'm gonna drag it over to 6 p.m. Perfect. Now my restaurant has been scheduled for 6 p.m. on December 12th. Like I said, that is optional. You don't have to go through, you don't have to go through scheduling everything. But if you want kind of that extra razzle dazzle, go on in and schedule it so your clients know exactly where they're going to be going. Um, next, you can click on the preview tab and you'll see your cover page will pop up. Normally an image is supposed to, there we go, just took a little bit longer. This was the cover photo that I was talking about. So this is what Travel42 picked for me as my cover photo. It's beautiful, I really like it. But if you decided, hey, I really don't like that cover photo, I really wanna change it, click this little action items dot. I told you it was gonna show up again and this is it. So if you click this button, you have edit details, view travelers, send, print, download, copy, duplicate, delete, and save and close. So if you go back to edit details, layout, you can then go in and add your own photo. So if you don't like the one that Travel42 picked, you can go in and add your own, either from your photo library or from Google or however you get your photo images, just be sure to click save edits. But this is the trip plan. Preview is just that. I am previewing what my clients are going to see. So next you have your trip summary, then you have your destination guide, then you have your hotel, then you have your restaurant that they're gonna be going at. Everything shows up in the preview tab. So once you're done here, you can then go back to the action items and send, print, or copy. Now, once you're done with the trip plan, you have to click save and close. But one thing I wanna show before I save and close, if say you're looking at the preview and you're like, I feel like I'm missing something. I feel like I need to add something else to this trip plan. All you have to do is go back to collect and then search for what you're wanting to add. So you haven't done anything to get this information to your client yet, so you can still edit it. And even when you do send the information, you can still edit it. The sent, as long as you don't do the PDF, if you do send trip plan or copy URL, that will allow your trip plan that you've already sent them to be edited when you do um, any edits under this trip plan. So if you add another destination and you've already sent the trip plan, it'll add the destination and the trip plan for them as well since you sent it. Um, but let's go ahead and click save and close. There we go, my Texas trip now shows up right here. So if I ever need to resend it or if I need to edit anything, I can do that by clicking the Texas trip. Remember, it doesn't delete unless you delete it. So if you wanted to delete a trip plan permanently, you could click delete and it will be gone forever. Um, profile, this is where you go to update your business card, your first name, last name, phone number, mobile, fax, website, email, anything you wanna add here including your headshot and your logo. Please do because it looks amazing and your clients will then see that it came from you. Preferences, this is where the suggested retail price would go. If you want it removed for all trip plans like mine was, you would just simply delete it or you can put in whatever price you would like to show up there. Agent comments header, when we created the trip plan, you saw where you could add comments. This would be a header for those comments. So if you wanted it to say anything before the comments, I think um, when you first log in, it says your agent adds. So this is what it would say before your comment. And then I think a little uh, colon there, but you can change it to whatever you want. This is just what's gonna show up before the comment. And if you want your trip plan to have a specific comment each trip plan, like you don't wanna have to re-enter it each time, go ahead and put the comment here and then click save. Report items. Um, if you start to get into templates, this is where your um, templates would come from. So you have the option to pick and choose any templates in Travel42, um, but this would allow you to choose the one you're going to use most often. Um, email, enjoy your trip. 
I always copy myself. And then if you wanted a personal message search, this is what I had when I mentioned um, my five-star hotels show up first, and then it goes to the small one. My sort order is by star rating. If you wanted to only ever see star reviews, you could check this, but I like to keep this blank just because when I'm searching for a hotel, I can quickly and easily check to see only hotels with star ratings there. So it made it a little bit easier for me. I'm going to go back to business card and I'm going to give some time for any questions. Um, I do see some have come through. So let me try to read through those. But for right now, if you would like, you can take down my email address should you have any questions. But also remember, you can submit any questions by the help tab as well. So you don't have to keep up with my contact information if you don't want to. Um, and I think I answered some of these. Um, with Axis, Axis Travel App, that is a separate product from Travel 42. Now, with any trip plans you have um, in Travel 42, you can do one of two things. You can print and download or copy the URL, and then you can paste it in your Axis Travel App. Now, definitely check out Axis. It's a wonderful product, and it's an itinerary builder, so it's more so focused on the itinerary side. Um, but you can visit AxisTravelApp.com and utilize a 14-day free trial. Um, and a question just came through asking about um, trip information. If you make edits and you've already sent the trip information, do you have to re-edit the do you have to resend it? No, you do not. The only time you would have to do that is with a PDF. If you printed or sent them a PDF, then you would need to go back into Travel 42 to do that because the PDF won't accept any edits. But anything that you send or copy URL, copy URL, all that does is put the trip plan into a URL. So if I were to put the URL into an email I've already had, the trip plan would then populate. Like this is the, I just copied the URL and then my trip plan populated. So you can post that in an email of your own um, or you can put it in Access if you wanted to put it in one of your Access itineraries. But yes, if you send or copy the URL, any edits you make to this trip plan will then be edited on their end as well. I'm not sure this question, so I'm going to try my best, but if it's not correct, please reach out to me after, either under the help tab um, or via email. Um, somebody was asking about when you book through a tour operator and you want to delete the pricing. So there's, if you're in a trip plan, or excuse me, if you're in a destination, and you go to a site like this is the information that's included. This is going to be the information that's included. There's no way to remove this or this. It's all or nothing. There is one way to do it, but um, it's a little it's a little more work. Um, if you wanted to simply go and copy and paste this maybe into a Word document or as a custom place, I guess you could do it as well. That would remove this information, um, but that for, for now, right this moment, if you click this checkbox, all of this information with the points of interest are going to be sent. Same with any of the um, tours down at the bottom. Everything is going to be included if it has a checkbox. So there's no way to edit within the checkbox, within the checkbox besides uh, copying and pasting. Um, and you can add anything into the trip plan, anything that's not within Travel 42. Right now, there's no way to, say, add like the restrictions in the e-visa without copying and pasting, but you could add it as a custom place. So say I was back in my trip plan and I have something extra that I wanted to add. That's where custom place comes in. This doesn't technically have to be a place. This is just another thing that's in your trip plan. So it could be like... Um, like we said, the plane earlier, or maybe even um, something that you wanted just to make them known of, that could be what the custom place is. It doesn't have to be a specific place.
Um, and within Access currently, it pulls in the whole destination guide. So if you're in Access creating an itinerary, there's no way to bring in your custom guides unless you go in and do the PDF. I know you can add PDFs to your Access itineraries and you can also copy the URL of the trip plan you created um, in Travel 42 and then paste it in your Access itinerary. I um, mean, currently we don't have any um, any outside excursion partners that we work with, but actually right now we are in the middle of um, finding more excursions that we can put on the site. That way agents can buy them straight from the site or clients can buy them straight from the agent who recommended it. And I think that's it as of now. I really appreciate you guys for joining